I'm here in uh, Hall 4. I've got Herr Tsi here uh, with us right now. And uh, good day, sir. Good day. Hello. <laughs> and we're going to do a bit of a, a walk around. But I really was interested in some of the things on your stand. Have you got any innovations this year at Innovation uh, Ambiente 19? We have novelties. We are use Ambiente always to, to show our latest news to our customers from all over the world. Uh, for example, everything you see here for hotel use, for example, this uh, etashare for uh, in-room VIP service, some small things mm -hmm. on the hotel room, or for example, this is quite a nice system um, out of three products. It's, it's a bowl, it's a cutting board, and this is a ring. Wow, very, very, so you know, like, modular, like a modular system, exactly. it's not just one modular function. makes you flexible, you can work with plates, with the glasses, for cheese, for breakfast, different setups. So you've got food covered up here, have you got some little ones down here at the bottom as well? Exactly. Can we go down and have a look at those as well? That is more for buffing. So, so that's on the... For a la carte, so fine dining, you know, it, it changed a lot in the Horeca sector, it's not only about the food anymore, it's also about the presentation, what you get on the table and make a special feeling and so a lot of your manufacturing process obviously you're making a glass uh, you're making a little cover is that is that, yes. is that something new or is this is this part of your it's your a tradition quite a funny idea in original it is a glass let me just a second i get it okay here we go we're live he's now running away grabbing something for us oh and there it is look at that um, it's part of our vision glass line which is quite a revolution since three years let's say in the in the wine glass sector and we just saw let's make a cloche out of it the, the pieces are all mouse blown hand, handmade and uh, just cut it and make a cloche out of it in different sizes so you just mentioned two things one was obviously previously you mentioned that this is all for uh, hotels and, and unique situations like making the guests uh, feel like having a luxury experience during dinner or when you're serving things in the, in the rooms but you mentioned also the quality of the, of, the, of the glass. Can you mention what that means for you for, for, for making a hotel quality glassware? Is there anything unique about the production and stuff for you guys? To be honest, it's, it's not only a hotel quality, it's, let's say, for hotel, for restaurant, but also for private people, for wine lovers. It's a, it's a, a, a hand-blown glass, lead-free crystal glass, so the finest quality you can produce. And let's say everything is like a masterpiece. If you see the production, it's really handmade. Okay. You cannot uh, yeah, imagine what it means to do such a glass. And when I, when I, th I first learned about the Harika, um, is this something which you've been involved with for, involved with for quite some time? Um, and what are your experience of the uh, experience of the Harika area? Um, Harika is our our main market since 30 years for the company. Mm -hmm. The retail we just started three years ago, but that's a different story. Uh, so we're doing always Harika. And in 1990, sorry, 90 uh, countries of the world, and we're doing the ambiente now. I think year number 13, always for Horeca. We've been here in Hall Nine. There was not a single Horeca company, but we always liked it because also the distributors for hotel are always coming from 60 countries. We welcome distributors here. We have a dinner with them. So it's the number one place in the world to meet all the people from all over the world. And Harika uh, obviously stands for uh, something. Uh, do you know what it stands for? Hotel, restaurant, catering. So all the professional. Very cool, because I didn't know that. You, you've taught me something again. And I, I, we, we, when we walked into this uh, Hall 4, we actually saw this massive pile of sand. There almost seems to be a, a theme this year of sand at the Ambienta 19. But I think if I look at this, is this trying to represent sort of the quality of materials that the products are made of? At the end, it's a raw material from glass. Yeah. It's just a raw material and it presents what it was before. It does, it does. And when you, when, when you have been here over the years, have you observed any changes at the Ambienta? Have you seen anything this year, this year which has made you go, well, hold on, that's kind of new and interesting? Um, the hotel part is, is improving a lot the last year. So if you look at co other companies who are only doing hotel business, they're also here since two, three years. Mm -hmm. And also the visitors. You have more hotels, you have more distributors for hotels. Though they're really coming focused more and more the last years. So it's good for business. Absolutely. <laughs> and uh, the, the various halls, do you get time to go and see the other halls at all? Or are you just completely stuck at your, your stand the whole time? No, I, I, I take time to, uh, especially to do the hall number four, hall number six, but not the whole exhibition because it's too wide in kind of products and uh, yeah, no need. But you see a lot, uh, especially also in trends where it goes to. And so we always keep an eye open and have a look. 
trends that we've actually got to visit this afternoon in the, in the uh, young talents uh, design area mm -hmm. and there's a couple of trend areas we're going to try and visit, visit as well so it's a really good segue to the next steps so I really appreciate your time I've actually taken away from you from your from your stand I appreciate your time and you. uh, I look forward to maybe seeing you around the halls in the next few days pleasure thank you very much thank you very much take care